Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, and of course, um, the Game of Games update has dropped. Uh, we got some leaks last night, but it's finally dropped now. Uh, so we, uh, I'm going to do an in-depth review of kind of what I can see so far of the event. Uh, and then what I will be doing throughout this is, of course, a multi-event. So I will be doing, an uh, like I did for the Valentine's Day one, I'll be doing an Act 1 and 2 review. When, both, uh, when Act 2 drops, I'll do an Act 1 and 2 review. Just sort of reviewing both of them. Some of my review for Act 1 will be in this, so it will be a little bit of a repeat in that video, but I kind of want to compare the two and talk about Act 2. And then I'll do another one for Act 3 and 4, and then of course I'll do a content list where I'll give my overall opinions on the update after um, this video. Which normally doesn't change too much, because I can normally tell, like, the only thing I don't see is the quest lines, and normally the quest lines aren't a major factor for, for events. Like, they are a factor for me, and sometimes a good quest line can actually make a great event, like the superheroes and the tap ball event, but um, sometimes quest lines really just don't matter. Like, it doesn't matter that they are crappy, but stats saying, there are some things that, in this, some quest lines that I didn't particularly like, but we'll go into that more in my premium update and then after. So, of course, this wasn't a Game of Thrones themed event, as I theorised. I was wrong. I did actually say that a lot of people were presuming it was going to be some sort of Game of Thrones themed, but I did actually say that it might might just be on games, like as in sort of like sporting events, but it was actually the opposite, it was video games, so this is a kind of a video game event in a video game. How meta is that? So we've got a video game themed tapped out update, which isn't terrible. It's not a terrible idea. I think there's um, a lot of good content. Um, there is some okay content in here. I think they could have done more of it, though, straight off the bat. I do think that uh, they could have done more. And, of course, after E3, um, they released uh, they released this. So after E3 kind of dropped. So it's kind of funny how we've got an E3 parody, which is called E4 in the game now. Um, but, yeah, overall, I think the quest line is meh like there's okay elements of it i like the theme i like the structure i think the theme of it is kind of good it's solid i do think it's a little inconsistent though with the whole blocko thing like i get what they're trying to do because the lego games but still it felt a little inconsistent there and some of the future things we're going to be getting to me feel a little weird i'm quite surprised that they haven't done uh, someone suggested in the comments for exactly who well i think it might have been sprinkling but someone suggested that the Earth Realm, the Earth Realm thing, that where the Shadow Knight's from, they could possibly do that, and I think that would have been interesting. And actually, I think they could have made an entire event on that, really, if they wanted to stretch it, or they could have at least given us an act. But they actually haven't touched on that whatsoever, um, which I find a little bit weird. But whatever, they've given us some more, re some more recent episodes and some more recent things. So at one so far, I think is kind of a letdown in my opinion. I don't think it's that great. I mean, there's the Blocko. I think the E3 headquarters is really cool, and the Blocko thing's kind of cool. But uh, everything else is a bit meh, really. Even the character is very meh. I'm not interested in that character too much. Um, but yeah, I think the time that this update took to to come to us was just too long. Uh, this this took way too long, and I actually feel like um, I have two theories for this. One. The tap out writers, they, they, they've had a budget cut or something, uh, because they used to have an event out all the time, and they used to be obviously making the events quite far in advance, and I feel like maybe they've had a budget cut and they've had to lay off some workers, or the opposite thing is the writers have just got lazy with it, because this update to me, if I had to sum it up in one word, is well, in, well not well, one, one word, but one sentence, well intentioned, but lazy, because I do feel like they've cut corners, not in terms of the artwork, but just the story, the quest line to me is so bland, and they've really put little effort into it, and I'll get more into this after, but this, the premium character we got, my god, um, but anyway, let's get into uh, the details, so first of all, we'll talk about the structure. So structure-wise, of course, as I said, this is a multi-event, so this is like the third multi-event we've got. Now, I thought they were going to be doing these more recent, more recent, but this is actually only the third, because the last one we had was the Valentine's Day one. I'm going to count this as a major update, because it technically is, um, but really has the content. It has the exact same sort of content, the amount of content as a major event. It's just structured differently, which is fine, but it is just structured like a mini-event, really. Um, which, again, to me, screams very lazy, because all they've been doing is mini-events and multi-events this year. Year. And I, I mean, I don't really know in terms of coding and shit. I really don't know in depth about it. I'm not that knowledge. 
But to me, this seems like a much more easier thing than the whole tappable creatures and earning different things and the crafting and all that. Like, that seems like more hard work than this, because this is just a simple mini event, like four mini events in a row, really. So to me, this kind of does, this is why I'm saying it really feels lazy to me. And I think this structure, I was okay with it with the Christmas one. I think it was made a nice change. I was even okay with it with Valentine's Day, but now I'm thinking this is just them, like, cutting corners, in my opinion. And I, and I get why, like, I don't, I'm not blaming them really that much, because I know that the game isn't what it used to be, and they are running out of content, uh, but, I don't know, it just feels a little lazy to me. So it's simple act structure, uh, so, so we get, what, five items, um, yeah, we get five items, um, five different items in each act. Uh, the act one wasn't too great. We got two kind of cruddy decorations, in my opinion. But there you go. Uh, so that's the structure: simple multi-act structure, or if you want, it's a simple mini event structure repeated four times. <laughs> then we got characters. So thanks for the Wiki Simpsons for this. They always provide a good table of characters for us to look at. Uh, so the only two characters we get in the first act are the detonator who, in my opinion, was kind of cruddy and I don't really care for. He's very forgettable. Uh, and also Blocko Angelica Button, who, again, I think is very forgettable. Uh, and then some other characters, we get Dash Dingo, who actually was a character I've wanted for quite a while. I've talked about him a few times in a few idea videos. So I, do, I, I did actually want him in the game, so we'll have to see what they do with him, but I'm kind of excited to get him. Also, another one which I wasn't expecting was Report Card, who I'm actually happy to get because he's one of the super friends. Uh, but it's weird that they added him because I think he's like the the least notable out of the group. So of course we have like email. There's email. There's report card. There's uh, ha um, ham, and and then your database. We've already got database, obviously. But there's ham and email, and I think ham is more notable than email and report card. And it's weird that we got report card and not ham, uh, or just not all three of them. The three that we haven't got. Um, I, I would have preferred it if they given us if they gave us ham and. Um, uh, email too, actually, but then we've only just we've only got report card, and then we also have the grief, uh, the so the grief, um, Onisia or whatever it is, or Un Uzia, whatever the hell it is. I, I don't know. I don't even know where that's from. We have the uh, stick up walrus who's from the movie, and then he appears after as well, which is pretty cool. And then we have Mister Durr, who interestingly is actually a Simpsons, um, the Simpsons game. He's actually from the Simpsons game, that like sort of Millhouse thing. Um, it's actually from the Simpsons game, not from um, uh, the show, which is very interesting. And I think there's a building as well that's from the game, which is kind of a, very interesting that they've given us actually something from the Simpsons game, which actually opens up now that we can have an event on the Simpsons game because previously I've been a little iffy on it in terms of the legal legal ramifications of it because um, I'm not sure exactly who owns all the rights to it because if I may, EA may, might be the publisher, but if EA don't all own all the rights, like if they don't have the, um, like the distribution rights or the the development rights, it doesn't mean that there might be a reason why they can't publish it. But it appears they ha do have it, uh, and yeah, like I said, the Boko Angelica button. So those are the three character. Uh, the, sorry, not the three characters. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven characters, which isn't is okay, I guess. Not too bad, but out of all the characters there. The only three I'm kind of excited for is Report Card, Dash Dingo, and sort of Stick 'em Up Walrus, but <coughs> like Dash Dingo and Report Card are the only two I'm actually kind of excited to get. Um, I mean, Stick 'em Up Walrus just because he kind of looks cool, but Mr. Dirt I think could have been a costume, I mean, for sure. And also, Blocko Angelica Button could have been a costume too, uh, for Angelica Button. And yeah, so those are the characters, but let's go on to some costumes. So, just free costumes this time, um, which I'm okay with. We got Crustcraft, Krusty, uh, General Splat Splatin, and Smell You Later. I think all three look kind of cool, uh, so I'm not going to complain. I do think General Splatin looks pretty awesome, actually, especially for costume for Bart. So, we'll have to see what that looks like. Uh, but, yeah, I'm not really too sure about this yet because I haven't actually seen any of the tasks. But, in terms of looks, they all look kind of cool, I guess. So, that's the costumes. And just real quick, here is a building show, building and decoration showcase for the things that we get. So, of course, there, that big-ass building is the E4 Convention Center, which I actually am pleasantly happy with. Uh, we have the Blocko Land uh, right there as well. 
And then also we have a couple decorations. So we have the Earthland Realms Blocko Dragon, which is meh, and the Flower Cart of Love, which is very meh. Uh, and then also we have the Blocko Dungeon set, which again is very meh. I'm not really too bothered about them. In terms of the Blocko, the Blocko thing, I wish the Blocko um, Blocko Land was a little bit bigger. I think it's too small. It's too condensed for my liking. Uh, it reminds me of the golf course, the crazy golf course. I just, it's a cool building i just wish it was a couple squares bigger um yeah like especially if you compare it to like crusty land and the little like toll booths we have for crusty land like it just doesn't compare as well uh, i'm probably gonna dump blocker land in my crusty land i'm probably gonna make it a little bit bigger and make a little blocko section that's probably what i'm gonna do with it i might even throw the e e4 convention center there as well i don't even know uh but yeah that's the blocko center uh, interestingly, this is two of five buildings that we're going to be getting. We're only going to be getting five buildings overall. We're going to be getting the Maple HQ, which looks really cool. Uh, I'll leave you guys to find images for yourself. But And also the Happy Little Elf's Farm, which doesn't look that interesting to me. It looks kind of boring and a bit bland, really. Uh, and then we'll also be getting the C COE Champions Arena, Champion Arena, uh, which is... The thing, the e gaming thing that Bart goes to is from what Smellulator is from and Bart's character, I think. So, yeah, um, only those, we're only going to get five buildings, which is a little disappointing. So, that's the update overall. That's all the sort of aspects of it. Um, I think my overall thoughts with you, I'm going to stick with what I said. So far, my view on this is. Um, it's got it's well intentioned. I think there's a they've they've really nailed the theme quite well. They've nailed the kind of sh they've nailed the structure. Although I I will argue it's kind of lazy. I know that people are annoyed with the whole tapping thing and the crafting thing, like crafting and tapping little things. I'm with you. I think it's annoying, but you you can't disagree that it's more like it's more effort. Like they put more effort into doing that than when they just have four mini events in one essentially. And uh, nothing screams more than this than the Angelica button uh, blocko thing. And I'll go more about this in my premium gameplay. But there was like free tasks for that. And straight off the bat, do not buy that. If you're if you're strapped on donuts, do not buy that leg that blocko Angelica button. It was so lazy. Like the quest lines were like five speech bubbles each, and it was just such a very easy, simple story. And they didn't do anything with it at all. And it really felt lazy to me. Um, so many, and I, I feel like it's gonna carry on throughout. I have a feeling that it will. That they're just, I like so, and some of the quest lines throughout this event, just to me, is so lazy. And and, and I was saying before, the quest line is it doesn't always matter. In a way, it did for this. It really does. Like it just to me, it feels like they've kind of, they haven't really thought too much about the story. They and 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 yeah, I mean, they could have definitely given us more buildings. I know for a fact they could have done that Earth Earth Realmed. Uh, episode they could have given us the wizard the tutorial wizard the you know guides Marge he wouldn't have been a great character but he would have been a character nonetheless and there's so many cool costumes they could give us there and there's also loads of buildings that they definitely could have given us from that but yeah overall I just think this had a well I mean my thoughts are well intentioned but uh, not that great and I just think it's kind of a shame that we waited so long and this is what we get I mean it's not terrible but it's nothing it's nothing amazing but anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts on this event. Uh, I still think the Valentine's Day event is way better than this. Um, don't get me wrong. This isn't like terrible, terrible. But I just think, yeah, it's not great. But anyway, yeah, like I said, tell me your thoughts. And I'll see you next one. Goodbye.